Guys, here we are back with another two past, two future comic book speculation video. I like doing this last week. I wanted to do it again. I like the idea of looking at two books from the past and then two books from the future that are coming out in a couple of weeks. I'm trying to actually do it a, not right before, right after FOC. So hopefully you're, you're a crystal ball and you knew it was coming, but two past and two future comic book spec. Check it out. And you liked it. So once again, like I said, this is two past, two future comic books. But let's look at the four books that I've chosen to talk about today. Two of them from the past. And, or, and when I say past, I'm just talking a couple of months ago. I'm not talking six years ago, 20 years ago. First one I want to look at is Scooby Apocalypse number one. Uh, I was sort of blown away when I looked at it. If you can see up there scrolling, um, the prices on these, $10, $12, $15 for a color. The, this is the coloring book variant. Um, it sort of surprised me. This is a Jim Lee cover. And so... People get sort of excited, and then you can also see what the people are listing this book for is $12, $25, some sort of impressive prices for a book that I've seen in dollar bins. In fact, I ordered them out of dollar bins. I have a couple of copies right here beside me, and that's what made me look them up. I pulled them up. I was like, I just want to see what these are selling for, $10, $12 for this uh, coloring book variant. Uh, DC did that a while ago, I guess. So I guess maybe I'd, I will do a few that are a little older, but it's just sort of cool to think about. Next, I want to look at uh, Ross Ritchie start dropping his five most rare Once in Future books that are not exclusives. Um, and one of the top five is this Once in Future 16 that came out a couple of months ago. It's a one for 25. And if you saw the video, they originally were selling for 10 bucks. A one for 25 selling for 10 bucks, 12 bucks. And then all of a sudden they jumped after his post and they were selling for 135 and 89. And just thought that was interesting. I was curious because. I bought my copy for 10 bucks the week it came out. I, I like the series. I've been picking them up. I, anytime I can find a ratio variant under under the ratio or under the incentive, I usually, I usually start dabbling, especially if it's a series I believe in. So I have this book. I'm not trying to pump it. I only have one copy, but I got mine for $10. But now this book is climbed. So if you're sitting on this book, it's climbed to 75 80 There aren't a lot listed. All of them that are listed are listed for 100 bucks right now. It is a really good series. It's a series I could definitely see being optioned. I have been picking this up. I'm sad because now all of us, this is going to, might have this something skilling the children effect, which, which I know is why Ross Ritchie pub, put those out there is because he wanted issue 18, 19, 20, 25, all the next issues to have a higher print runs and stores to go after him more. So, I mean, it's definitely on his place of publicity uh, activity. Now let's look in the future. Let's look at two weeks from now, a couple of books that I'm I'm high on that I plan on ordering or buying. First one is Ultra Mega 2. I don't know if you caught it a couple of weeks ago, or actually I guess it was over a month ago now. I did I did an article about Ultra Mega 1. I got the pre-release and read it. Ultra Mega 1 was an $8 book that was 60 pages long, and it was worth every penny. I went out and bought it. I mean, after, even after reading it, after I knew what the end of the book, I went out and I did buy a copy of it. Um, it's actually selling for ten dollars, twelve dollars. So it's selling for a little bit more. Um, the one for ten uh, ratio variant for it is selling for twenty dollars, twenty five. So this is Ultra Mega Two is coming out. Once again, they're going to have four uh, covers for it. Um, these, are, these are just the A and B covers. I love both of them. I, I'm not. I probably will pick up this bloody one here. And then you have the one for five and the one for ten. I am excited about this, guys. I, I got to read it again. The story, you do have to read the stories together. If you haven't read issue one, issue two will, will not make any sense to you. Um, but issue one it built so much story into it. It's so worth $8. I think this is I don't, This is not an eight, a 60-page book. I think it's just going to be cover price of, of $4 or $5. I do plan on picking it up. I'm probably most excited about this cover here. That's the one I'm going to go after. So Ultra Mega 2. Uh, it comes out on April 21st. Last book I want to talk about is this Many Deaths of Layla Star. Once again, it's another Boom book. Um, Boom has figured out the formula right now for getting really good colorists and artists on their covers, doing different variants for them. This is a number one issue. It's been written by Ram V. Um, the, the premise of this story is it's set in India. It's set with the 
the Indian god of death if she's basically been sent back to Earth. And she only gets to live this one life of this character, this person, Layla Sar. Um, and then that's about the extent of what I know about the story. It does interest me. The artist, the color, the art from all the different covers that I've seen. Here's a David Mack cover. I think it's the B cover for it. And then there's also a one for 50 of this cover. Um, there's also this is the one for 25. I mean, and like if you guys have been following my stuff, I am a big color guy. So I'm excited about this book. I will probably pick it up. I have reached out to the main artist on it. I do want to do an interview with him if I get a chance. Um, so that's a part of my goal as well. But that's it comes it comes out April 21st. This is in Hunk Lee cover. I mean, the, and there's also a thank you variant that doesn't have an image yet. And there's um, they already have their second print. I mean, hey, what do you know? Stores already know they're going to do a second print before issue one even sells out. That's become more and more common. But I like the covers. I don't even know which one I would probably go for and i'm a david mack fan but that's probably my least favorite of these that i'm showing you uh, i would probably go for either this one because it's the one for 25 or then huck lee if i could find it as well I th that usually his his covers are the one for 100 so the one for 50s when it, when it comes to a boom book so once again guys those are my four books there's two past two future comic book speculation from cbsi i'm dropping these articles on sundays uh videos probably drop on saturdays maybe this is something you like I enjoy doing. I look. I like looking ahead a couple of weeks, um, seeing what books are coming out, but also looking at some books that I'm like, oh, I didn't know that was selling for a little bit more now than it, when I thought what it was selling for. So, two past, two future. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and also to subscribe. Go ahead and do that right now before the video ends. Like and subscribe. Tonight.